Hi, I was asked recently, quite several times actually, um, if I'm worried that developers will be replaced by robots, by bots, you name it. Uh, I'm not worried. Uh, first of all, I'm quite skeptical that it will happen anytime soon. But I can imagine this happening uh, at some point. The first thing is that I don't consider it a binary thing. It's not like we will be replaced by robots as developers or not. There's lots of things in between that can happen and they will happen probably. So the first, first thing is that if, if as developers we now think that we are doing the human work, the creative work, uh, then if becoming, if this is possible to be done by bots and what needs to be happen? And Bots are basically scripts, algorithms, it's software. Uh, are we able to write code which reflects what we do? And even if we are not able to write uh, the specific definitions of what we do, we can at least declare the API, the interfaces of what we do. Like start working session, like start write a failing test, and that's an interface. I'm not sure if a robot will be able to uh, to fill the details, like what it means exactly, but at least I can state it as a fact. That's the algorithm. But let's say we actually will be replaced by robots. Am I still not worried? I'm not worried, because if I know myself, uh, I know my approach to development, I know my approach to business, I always try to be uh, the first one to start things, to discover new things, I try to follow the new trends, doesn't mean I do all the new trends, but I try to follow them. So if I recognize that this is actually happening, this is possible, this is actually cool, well, we are developers, it's actually, we should be excited about the fact that a program could write programs in some level. So, but the main reason I'm not worried here is uh, if there is someone to write those robots, to implement the software behind those robots, then it's probably me. I would be happy to work on that if it's if that's like the point, that that's the vision behind it, if that's uh, something fascinating, fascinating, I will do it. And I said that there is uh, there are stages in between uh, doing the human development work and being replaced by robots. I've recognized at least. Um, well, okay, let's start with one stage. There's one stage in between, uh, and I would call that it's not a robot yet. It's not a boat. It's an assistant. Uh, as programmers, we are already assisted by lots of tools, IDE, tests, uh, lots of everything that is automated around us. Even the high-level programming languages that we are using, in a way, they're our assistants right now. We don't write the assembly code uh, ourselves, right? So we are already assisted. And and now I need to cross this. So the assistant level, um, how can I write something that can assist me in my development work, in my development sessions? Um, certain things are already this kind of assistance, like if you follow the TDD rules, write a, write a failing test, only write the production code when you have a failing test, and so on and so on. There are lots of rules like that. Uh, and this is like something like an assistance here. Uh, so I can imagine having a software, a tool. I don't know, it could be a terminal tool, it could be a GUI tool, it could be a mobile app. I can imagine that guides me through the stages which I consider to be good. Like I'm a, I'm a TDD fan. I really believe this is a good way of 
producing software and most of the habits I think I already have like do I have a failing test am I writing a code which is the like the shortest code needed for developing this feature so I can imagine a software which ensures me at least it, it can ask me it can ask me questions that's the beginning but then it can actually try to verify uh, verify that something is uh, done the way I want it to be it doesn't have to enforce it maybe I don't really want to be enforced by the assistant but it could me it could help me a lot so now imagine that this assistance tool is written in a code uh, let's say it's called Andre bot which is meant to assist Andre's work there were my rules it's not a generic bot and imagine this, I have all of my rules uh, expressed in a code, could be Ruby code for elegance. Um, there are some interesting consequences if we follow this, this path and this is like my intellectual exercise right now, uh, some creative exercise. What would, what would it be if I write what I do as code, instructions to Andre as code? Uh, there are interesting things, because uh, if I follow TDD, it means that if I have a bug in my system, in my code, then I write a test which exposes the bug, and then I write a fix. And this way, hopefully, I will ensure this bug doesn't happen again. What is a bug when it comes to Andre bot, or when it comes to Andre as a developer? Uh, well, every mistake I make in the project, every fuck up I create, smaller or bigger uh, that's a bug i i have to accept that i did it but i also want to being a professional i want to ensure it doesn't happen again uh, it means that if i have a class called andrebot i can create a test case which exposes the bug uh, and then fix it by writing some code for the andrebot class so maybe some assistance right now and you know ensure it doesn't happen at least can be ensured but as long as I follow the assistance guidelines guides then uh, the problem doesn't happen again which is quite interesting if you think like that because it means that you would uh, you would try to code your working life and I don't even want to go how to write code for my other parts of my life not only the uh, work part Let's now let's go in further with this uh, with this vision with this imagination here. Uh, let's say Andre Bot is a code written in Ruby, and there's a repository for that, and it reflects my rules. It reflects maybe the, some of the RKC rules. Uh, what happens if my coworkers, my teammates in the development team, they recognize that I've made, I make mistakes, let's say more than once, and they would like to help me uh, fix this. And I would be very happy if they help me doing this every time I make a mistake. What they can do is that they can uh, prepare a pull request to the Android bot repository, to the Android bot class, or there will be probably more objects. Uh, write a test which says Andre last week you forgot to check that your commit doesn't have any puts statement and it's unprofessional to commit a code to the repository which contains any print puts statements yeah so but it happened uh, so here is something that I uh, suggest to your bot which should help you ensure that you don't do it again and then it could be my choice to accept the pull request, which I would probably do. Uh, even better <laughs> if it's not based on packed pull requests, but actually everyone can contribute uh, some changes to my assistant and my bot. This will go immediately to production, which means next time I'm opening the bot to assist me, I will follow some new rules suggested by my colleagues. I can experiment with those suggestions. Okay, that's that's very weird actually, but I like this approach of 
trying to imagine how would it be and what would it be like if we are replaced by robots uh, starting by robotizing ourselves thanks that's an example implementation of what I mean here like this, this part is about development this is about being a mentor uh, this is a pseudocode, there is no implementation, it's just API, uh, it's just an interface.